think it's really important that a young ophthalmologist come into any type of interview very well prepared. So my main clue is get on the web, Google the people you're going to be interviewing, Google the place. The more you already know how things run and the more familiar you are with the history of the place and maybe some of the top areas of uh, excellence uh, there, the more impressive you're going to be to the person who's interviewing you. And it's, and it's very flattering to the other person that you've taken the time to find out about the place where you know, they've, they've spent their career and, and uh, their interests. Having said that, the next step, I think, is to try to get that person who's in a position of authority on your team. So asking them how, with your background and your skill set, you could succeed at their institution, I think is a really good strategy too. So saying, what would success like, look like for me uh, here at Wills Eye Hospital? Or how could I succeed with my skill set at Wills Eye Hospital? And then as a follow-up question, um, or maybe after the discussion has gone on for a while, I think it's very worth asking, looking down the road, if I came here, in one year and maybe then in three years, what would success look like for me? What would you like to see me have done? And how would you like to see me have progressed? What can I contribute here at Wells? And, and that way you're just turning it a little bit um, and, and you're looking at the future and at success uh, in terms of wills, if you're interviewing there, um, in a different way than having it be selfish and kind of all about what I want. Okay, so that's, that's the other side of it. You don't want to seem like you're not a team player, like you're totally selfish. Um, you don't want to zing in right away on things are going to be problematic. Um, I think, um, for example, immediately focusing on vacation and leave and even, even pregnancy and family things is probably a mistake because it, it, it gives the erroneous impression that those are at the top of your list. And those are very selfish, me, it's all about me things. It's not about contributing to the institute or to the hospital or, or to the program. So, um, I, you know, as a parent of millennials myself, I, I, I know that as parents we've, we've raised everybody to think about themselves, um, but it's important in the interview to be, you, you, you want to get all those issues straightened out, of course, of course you do, they're very, very important lifestyle issues, work-life balance issues, but coming out of the gate, you want to be talking about the work part and what you're going to contribute.